What would you do if you found Superman as a baby? Like, imagine you're driving on a dirt road in the middle of the night when you see a meteor crash. You go to check it out and find an alien ship with a baby inside. What do you do? Personally, I would keep the baby. If it was white. Be honest, if you found a black baby on a ship, you'd keep driving too. Not in my neighborhood. Then I'd have to convince my girlfriend to keep it. Babe, look, I found a baby. You stole a baby. No, I found a baby. Did you report it missing? No. Then you stole a baby. Bitch, he came from an alien ship. During the commotion, the baby lifts up a fridge and I'm thinking, damn. How is she gonna breastfeed? If he can press a fridge, he sure as sh can bite off a nip. And our marriage is on thin ice as it is. If she loses a fun bag, it's over. Then the fridge slips out of his little hand and lands on him. We're both thinking he's dead until we hear a faint giggle. I move the fridge aside to see the baby both happy and unharmed. I'm like, oh my god. I need to prank my friends. So I'd invite my homies to the mall, making sure we're all on the second floor. Uh, this will come into play in a minute. They'd see me and be like, Oh snap, Steve, I didn't know you were father. Clearly your pull-out game isn't that strong. And I'd be like, yeah, I couldn't find a flight of stairs quick enough before my girl could push this little guy out. Then as my friends come over to greet him, I would drop him on the ground. My friends would be like, oh my god, is he alright? I'd be like, it's okay. It's okay. Then I'd pick him up by his little baby leg and toss him over the railing. Now I get to see what type of people my friends are. Because it's only one story high. Something could have broken his fall. But if anything, he would need immediate medical attention. So what do my friends do? Beat the sh** of me or quickly run downstairs to check on the baby? The correct answer is you check on that baby. So eventually we all gather downstairs and my friends would be shocked that not only is the baby unharmed, but he was also laughing. That's when I turn and say, yeah, I got a super baby. But after I'm done messing with my friends, I'm gonna need money. At any point, my baby could just rip off my d And even though Logan is my favorite movie, I don't want to be an X-Men, so I might need Need some rainy day funds in case I need to find a doctor with stable hands. But how do you earn money with a super baby? Simple. You gather up a whole bunch of weapons and charge people a thousand dollars for ten seconds with a baby. Imagine renting a baseball bat and just going to town beating this child. Keep in mind, he feels no pain. In fact, he quite enjoys it. And that's the type of person I am. A loving father. But advertising time with a child is gonna attract some bad apples. And eventually, someone's gonna ask to pork that baby. Sure, they'll rephrase it as alone time or plain confessional, but you know what they really mean. Luckily, the solution for this is Real simple. All you gotta do is gather qualifying information about them before they crossbow your baby. That way you'll have their name and home address. So when your child turns 18, you can say, Son, you did it. You grew up to be such a great man, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Now, let's go end some pedos. Again, I'd wait till he's 18, because if you can go to war, you can kill a horse. Imagine just showing up at some predator's house like, Hey, Tom, have you met my son? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when he was a child, you tried to have your way with them, remember? What? No! Wait, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Lying's gonna get you a taste. Rihanna's booty hole. <laughs> Nifty, right? Not only is it instant, but it cauterizes the wound, making it so we can do it again and again. Also, just a heads up, if he squints, he can get more hits in. Watch, Rihanna's booty hole. <sighs> Honestly, I never get tired of that. So listen, I'll make you a deal. If you promise that kids are no longer on the table, we'll let you go. Okay? Say, say it with me, alright? I promise... I pro I promise? That kids are no longer... Th that kids are no longer... Wait, 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 wait. What's that smell? It smells like... Rihanna's... No... Booty... No, no, no... Oh... The point I'm trying to get at is, uh, do you think I'd be a good father? Like, I know I say terrible things, but I think I'd be a good dad. Sure, in my mythical baby scenario, I would manipulate my kid in order to further my own agenda, but isn't that what all parents do? Make your kids pursue your failed dreams so you can live vicariously through them? I wasn't the punisher for pedos, but my son will be. I mean, it's still better than Asian parents, who download shame into their kids while attaching a fishing line with validation at the end of it. Like, my kid would know he's loved. I'm not just gonna have him laser some bediddler alone. No. I'd be right there by his side, telling him how proud I am. But I'm still worried, you know? Like, I'm not planning on becoming a parent anytime soon, but I will be moving to Texas in January. And I don't know if you heard, but Texas does not let you click that abort button. So if I get some thirsty thought preggers, I'm gonna have to keep it. Well, unless I find some stairs that are, you know, slippery. Mmm, you know what you wanna do? Oh, you wanna push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.